Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first week of uh, September reads. Start from the 1st through the 7th of September 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Libra. So Libra, let's see how the first week is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding oracle cards, color cards, and messages from your person in this reading. So stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, uh, let me remind you, if it is a general read, it may and it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so yeah let's dive into the read and let's find out what is coming up for you in the first week of september time let's draw let's dive into the read and let's see wow wheel of fortune it seems like you know a week where um everything out of nowhere is going to start turning for you in your favor your prayers would be answered your your affirmations would become your reality so make sure like you know you are thinking the right thoughts there and uh, speaking the right words there as well but i feel like you know yes um finally the bad or the not so positive phase is over and you are heading in the right direction where you are going to be like getting closer every day uh, towards what you want, towards what you desire, towards what you uh, wish for. Wish for. So let's see more cards here. We do have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. I feel like you know this this shift um, that I see coming in. It was triggered by you taking a major decision of uh, your life. I feel like recently you might have parted ways from someone. You might have uh, pulled away from someone. You might have chosen a different path for yourself that you were not ready to choose before. So as you maybe surrendered and as you kind of like, you know, accepted the reality and moved on, you saw things changing. And maybe initially when you decided, okay, fine, I'm moving on, I'm ready, I'm, I'm you know, heading forward. Maybe when you took that decision, you didn't see it coming. You, you felt like maybe, you know, everything is over, everything is done, everything is finished. Uh, you don't know what's going to come through for you in your life. And um, the moment you surrendered and believed in the divine timing, um, you get your wish, you know, granted. And I feel like you know, it's going to be so unexpected for you to see things working out for you in your favor when you are least expecting it. Um, Seven of Wands, Four of Swords, the High Priestess. I mean, the deck we do have the Ten of Cups, Libras, your your wish. Like, I feel like you know, it's it's something that you have been waiting for. It's something that you wished, prayed. You know, it's 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 more like very close to your heart. Like you know, whatever it is that you're getting now in the month of uh, in the first week of uh, the month of uh, September, it seems like you know you are heading towards your desire, and it's um it's it's not the you know it, maybe you planned certain things a certain way they didn't work out that way, so you felt maybe it's um you know everything is falling apart but look in this week time you're gonna realize oh my god you know the moment you you know trusted the divine around it and you just kind of like you know kept flowing with it uh whatever was happening you were just accepting that and you just move forward and move forward you are going to see that wow like you know something unexpectedly is showing up and it's going to bring you your wish desire fulfilled now for some of you, you might have parted ways from your person. You might have decided, okay, fine, I'm moving on. I don't want to deal with them any further. Um, maybe they were not giving in. Maybe they were like, you know, the divine was telling you to move on, move on, move on. But you are restricting that. And if you were restricting that, I feel like, you know, the moment you did that um, and you choose to walk away from that person, that person is coming forward. This person is like, you know, chasing you. This person is like, you know, telling you that I love you. I'm ready. I want to you. Um, maybe they were like, you know, taking things for granted. Maybe they were taking everything so easy. But the moment you decided, okay, fine, I'm going to, you know, move on. That's the, you know, moment when this person is going to feel like, oh my God, am I going to lose this person? And that's going to make this person come and give you what you wanted with them. Now, for those of you who have been in a toxic relationship where you were like getting nothing, you were being tortured, you were being like, you know, mentally, physically uh, assaulted by a person. I feel like you know, it's, it's going to be the time where you are going to be like, you know, um, uh, choosing to separate from uh, yourself from that addiction of this person and you're gonna feel like okay fine i'm not gonna deal with this shit any further and i'm moving on i don't know what's gonna come next for me i just don't want this shitty connection and the moment you decide that god is going to give you the power strength enough 
to to move ahead with your life maybe you're gonna feel sad upset but then you will be surprised to see what what god's plan is as you move away from that toxic connection happiness waits for you you will meet somebody who's going to be like uh, giving you what you wanted so maybe you you have recently or already finished a connection or ended a connection that was toxic and the divine is ready to gift you with something that you deserve a love that is like you know meant for you for in that situation i feel like you know maybe you are going to be like having a brass person returning back to you to offer you love again it can be that for some of you but yes it is going to be something that is going to make you so happy as well so yeah let's see her uh, colors first let's see what two colors could be uh significant or lucky for you in the first week of uh, september <clears throat> what color is going to be lucky or significant for you so let's take two cards and pink let love in rainbow connect to spirit and nature Rainbow and pink is going to be, uh, you know, a lucky and significant colors for you. Uh, one and four. I feel like a new beginning which is going to be stable, you know, a beginning which is going to last forever. I do see that beginning happening for you in your love in this uh, week time. Let's see the oracle cards and then we're going to tap into the messages from this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Maybe it's going to be from the person that you're leaving behind. Let's see how it pans out. But yeah, before we get there, let's see some oracle cards for you for this week time. Breathe. Take de uh, several deep breaths. Exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. I feel like you know it's going to be an ideal time for you to breathe out. And as you breathe out, you are going to feel like, oh my God, things are changing. You will, you will, you will see and sense that the peace that you're having around the current situation is a sign, major, major, major sign that yes, everything is heading in the right direction for you. So just, just release the old patterns of dealing with things, and you shall get what you want. Your loved ones in heavens are doing fine. Let go of your worries and feel the loving blessings coming your way. Let's see one more card. Indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. I feel like you know, for some of you, you could be dealing with a toxic person because of the children involved. You wanted to be with that person just for the kids that you have. But I feel like you know, the divine really wants you to know that it's good for your kids as well if you part ways from a toxic relationship because being in a toxic environment is the toxic most thing for uh, you know that that you can you can uh, do to a kid or a baby so it's very important to give a baby the healthy environment because uh, they are more sensitive than you can even imagine so let's see more cards here divine order do what you feel is right and important lesson is unfolding i feel like you know from deep within you would be able to sense that this is what you need to do you have to walk away from certain things and i feel like for majority of you you have already walked away from that something and um, it's going to be the week where you are going to get um, you know, get to see something beautiful coming for you. So it's more like you're going to feel like aligned towards that. Psychic inside, the, your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. I feel like, you know, your intuition in this week is going to be also very heightened. And so we just listen to your intuition as you move forward. The divine is taking care of everything. You have nothing to worry. Just give your worries to the divine that you believe in and let love in. Let happiness in your life. Um, I feel like you know it's just the moment you 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 know just uh, um, break free from a toxic cycle and decide that no more off shit in your life. That's the moment you will see abundance and all abundance coming for you. Let's see the messages from your person whoever it is that you're dealing with. We have our first message. Let's put some more cards here. What else is the message? What else is the message from your person? Be that the one that you're currently dealing with or the one that is coming in your life uh, let's see but i do see you happy fulfilled uh in this week time especially towards the end of the week time you're gonna feel so relaxed and so fulfilled so there's so many cards i'm not gonna include all of them i'm just gonna take the last two cards okay so let's see I am a better person because of you. So it can be a um, person coming towards you who, who you have known before, like I said earlier. Uh, maybe this is an ex. Maybe you, you 
you know kind of chosen a wrong uh, connection uh, over your person because of the pressure family pressure or other things maybe you fell in love with the wrong person and now you're pulling away for some of you and as you do that this person is going to come forward and they're going to let you know that you have changed them so good to the point where they are now a better person and they want to have another you know uh, chance with you i don't want to reveal my feelings so you might be dealing away uh, you know dealing with a person who um uh, who, ne who who had always been shy about their feelings uh, being expressed. So somebody really doesn't want to show their feelings to you as as much as they feel for you. They cannot reveal that to you because they love you so much. I love your passion for me. I feel like, you know, you might be dealing with somebody who was like always enjoying getting your love and attention but never gave you what you deserve. In that situation too, like I said earlier, the moment you decide that you want to move on, this person, whoever it is that you are leaving behind, could come and tell you that, oh my God, I don't want to lose the passion that you have for me so something that they love i love you more than i ever loved anyone in my life so somebody is really i feel like you know for some of you it could be dealing with two different people here because i feel like you know maybe you're leaving one and the other one is also from the past so both the people that you are dealing with are you know somebody that you know and um yeah i feel like you know it, it is going to be different for different liberals but i really see that two people would be coming in uh and uh and i feel like you know it's going to be your call your decision whoever you want to choose and give a chance to but i feel like you know um you will be very happy uh with the whatever choice that you make in this uh you know in regards to your love life situation now in this week time so yeah that's pretty much it uh coming up for you for this uh read if it was of help uh, do like share and subscribe and yeah uh, till later the next read for you guys take care and bye